What is up guys? Today we're going to go over the lateral raise. This exercise, specifically the dumbbell lateral raise, is highly contested and a lot of people don't know if they're doing it right or if they're doing it wrong and there's very finesse differences between doing it professionally and doing it on a very bushly kind of manner. So a lot of people what they think is they just stand up nice and tall, lift those arms sideways, getting a lateral raise. This is right and wrong at the same time. This is going to engage that lateral head of your shoulder, there are three heads. So you have your posterior, anterior, and lateral. Anterior, you're usually gonna work from front movements, your front raises. Rear, you're usually gonna work from hitting back. You're gonna have to squeeze back there. And lateral, it's anything to the side. But the nuance to this, so you're actually gonna to need to really position yourself to actually work that lateral head. So one thing I really recommend is it starts from the feet. So if you guys can see my feet, I like to push out the legs like you're posing, like your legs should almost be flexed. I like to come in really strong like that. Posture myself a bit forward, chest up. Now from here, I'm not just lifting straight. You're gonna want some bend in that elbow, a slight bend I recommend. Just like when you guys are doing it on the machine that gets you to bend, this is a little bit extreme, but this is what you're gonna to wanna to mimic. So you're forward a bit, you're getting some degree of bend, and you're coming up like that. Now you notice if I teacup too much, I'm gonna put way too much pressure on that anterior head. Could cause issues, especially in that rotator cuff. You really wanna avoid something like that. And you don't wanna angle it back too far, or else you're gonna be working that posterior head. So for lateral, all it is is balance. You need a nice equilibrium, equilibrium of just hitting that lateral head nice and straight. And that's what this is gonna look like. I got my arm out here. It's not supinated or pronated. Just nice and straight. I'm just coming up and squeezing that lateral head each time through the movement with a little bit of bend, doing a nice big contraction, really isolating and working that lateral head. So you're gonna want a lighter weight, especially for this. When you come up, you're gonna get that slight bend to keep it straight. And just to clarify, your hand is gonna be pronated, you're just not supinating, and you're not over pronating, if that makes sense. So you're gonna come here, you're gonna lift up, nice and equal sideways, down. Now you're not gonna go all the way to your hips, you wanna keep it under tension. I find that this is about the perfect range. You guys can gauge on that based off feel. You're here. So you can see the clear difference between that and just this. This, you can tell I'm going a little bit back. People have a tendency to rotate outward like that and really work the rear delt. Mistake number one is not doing the correct range of motion, guys. So a lot of people only go to here. They can go super high and engage their traps. This is more of a shrug exercise. This is something you want to avoid. Simple way to make sure you're actually working it from start to finish is to go, like buy your computer screen, legit try this with me, get your arms ready, that's all you need. You can stand up, sit, whatever you like, but try that bend, get everything set. And now just raise your hands to the front. This is gonna work your front of your delt. So if you raise them super high, you're gonna see you're going a bit high, you're gonna transition some of that movement to the rear delt. Whereas for here, you can see the top of the tension for me is about this point. Same with the rear and same with the lateral. So here, if I'm only going to here, you can see I'm not really getting a great engagement in the lateral head here. Whereas once I go right to here, this is perfect. This is where I'm actually gonna feel it. I'm not teacupping because I don't wanna hurt that anterior. And I'm not going too high to where I'm performing a trap exercise. So all it is, is from here to here. You can see I'm actually squeezing the lateral head and you can poke it and feel where the tension is going, especially as you move your arm around. Number two mistake is called the flapping bird and this usually happens because people use too much weight. They think they have to be heroes and use like 50 pounds for this exercise. So they start out like this and they just go back. And it's almost like they're like flying and they think they're actually working their lateral head of their, their deltoid, but they're not at all. And they just keep going like this, start using momentum and they're about to fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is completely wrong, guys, and I highly recommend staying away from doing that. Mistake number three, and this one's simple. Know what this exercise is meant to do. This is not meant to be a shoulder blaster where you use 70 pounds and you're tossing it around. This is a ball and socket joint. It can be easily hurt, and that's something you don't want. A shoulder injury is something that will screw you for a lot of things, especially lifting. If you want to go heavy, do it on your overhead press, your shoulder press, etc., etc. I find that shoulders, and especially shoulder training, are really responsive to stimulus. So with this, you, I usually recommend going a bit higher in the rep range, using a way you can control, and really focusing once again on that contraction to where you're actually experiencing muscle breakdown. If you're lifting super heavy like a crazy person, you're just swinging your way around, doing whatever, you're not, you might not actually target the head you're aiming to target. You can get some form breakdown, and as a result, 
you can actually experience injury and those gains you experience will be very short lived. Okay guys, we really hope this video cleared everything up for you and now you know how to do a proper lateral raise. If you could like this video, it'd really mean a lot because YouTube's algorithm is kind of messed up and it's really not getting those videos out there. So hopefully people can learn more if you guys give this a thumbs up. Also make sure to click the top right. We have a playlist of all our other how-to videos and fix your form videos. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already and get ready for the next video. Peace out. So here you'll notice, this is a face pull. This is not a face pull. Here I'm working my biceps, I'm not actually engaging my rear delts. 